When you are in information security, you have to use a lot of tools to perform your encodings, encryptions, decoding and data analytics. Today we will be talking about tools which make this process very easy and intuitive. So CyberChef, how will it help you? CyberChef is a tool that is given by the British government. They are GCHQ, that is the Global Communication Headquarters. This is a service uh, that is part of MI5 and MI6. So you'll be looking at a tool that is used by the British intelligence. So they have given it freely. It's available on GitHub. I'll share you the link below. And the best thing about this tool is you can run it online or and there's an offline version, which is just a web page. Here you can uh, click on this link and load the online version of CyberChef. Okay, uh, you can run the tool over here. I'll explain you the contents. Also, you can download the offline version of CyberChef. I'm going to click here and you can see it's 11.6 MB. You can open it directly and you can copy it to your pen drive or run it portably anywhere. So what CyberChef does is uh, it has a lot of built-in uh, functions to perform encoding and decoding, again encryption and a lot of other functions combined into one interface where I can use it for data analytics. How do you start with CyberChef? It's like you just have to give an input. So I'll just type this is a sample text. And let's say you want to convert this into base64. Go to favorites to base64 and put it in the recipe section. Now you can see uh, our plain text got automatically encoded into base64 and it showed this automatically because I put the auto bake. So this is the recipe that I mentioned. So if you want to uh, convert this base64 into a hex value, you can click into the hex. So that's how this works. So you can put a recipe. Some complex algorithms use multiple encryption methods or encoding methods to get a result. So this is how you get the desired result. So this sample text is we connected base64 and hex. So let's do a sample decoding of this. Right? I'm going to clear all the formulas that I used. I'm going to remove this auto bake tick just to show you it doesn't work automatically. So we paste it here. So again, there's a search function. If I search for hex functions, you can see earlier I used hex, now you have from hex. So now if I use this and click on bake. You can see it gives me the base64 version of the text and again if I type base64 you can get the base64 output and click on bake and you can see you can get the text back. So this is an example of a recipe how you can use and there's a lot of functions. So I'll show you some practical examples so it might be useful for you. So what my suggestion is you just have to explore these options. So for example, you have arithmetic and log logic functions, especially one, one of something useful is the networking functions. You can extract domain names and you can even control the flow. I'm going to remove clear this window, click on bake. Uh, so here I have an example of a submit. Uh, copy this and explain to you so this is the input that we are going to use so this was taken from a web page uh, attacker has used the submit button and for the action uh, post message he has used this particular code now if you are familiar with this code this is url encoded normally what happens in url encoding is uh, the text that is sent. You can send clear text over here, but also you can convert it into hex characters and send it over the internet. So I'm going to clean these characters because I only need to know what is this one. First of all, remove these percentage signs. How do you remove it? So again, easy. It's there's a find and replace function over here, just like what you find in Notepad plus plus or some other software. So we need to remove this, and I'm going to say find the percentage signs. And replace with nothing so if you can give it another character it will work and make sure you, you use a simple string over here so we just want to change this right there are the ticks I'll keep it as default and click on bake function now you can see we end up only with I'll remove this also because we want to be needing this hash so we have and we end up with some hexadecimal characters over here now what we have to do is 
I want to, I have a text from hexadecimal so from hex so remove first of all the first function removes everything and second function click bake and you can see it contains a command execution attempt there's a lot of useful options so this again remember this is called a recipe we'll go to another scenario where we can use multiple examples okay i'm going to clear this window so i'm going to uh, open my email box i just want to show you uh, there's an email that i received from aliexpress so let's assume this is a malicious email which is coming from a promotion site uh, you want to analyze this so i'm going to get the email headers of this section so i'm to get the head information you go to show original and okay there's a lot of things that have come here you can even download the text so i'm going to copy this text so this contains all the email header and the body information so there's a large amount of data over here okay so i'm going to copy this and put it into cyberchef and to make life easy i'm checking the auto bake function one of the first things we can see what are the email addresses that are used in this particular email so if i type email there's a function called extract email addresses okay so it has uh, come to my email address and there is a lot of uh, email addresses called promotion ali and if you see anything that is suspicious you can just go through this and see whether it is working properly second one is you'll be interested in is you want to figure out what are the ip addresses associated with this one so ip addresses okay extract ip addresses so from this text it will run a regex query and get all the ip addresses over here and you can always click on display total to see how many ip addresses it has found so this uh, is the originating ip address and this we have received for this particular ip so this will be my machine where i have opened it so if you want to check where is this ip located okay so i am going to dnsanalytics.com and just type in this address and see where it came from hmm it came from alibaba so uh, aliexpress is part of alibaba so that's okay now you have some ip addresses let's say you want only the unique ip addresses from this so there's a function for that also click here and you can see you can get the unique ip addresses so if you have any local ip addresses i can get rid of them also now some emails has malicious links inside this so you might need to extract them okay uh, before extracting the urls i want to see what are the domains it connects to right so i'm going to type domains okay extract domains which is very easy 271 domains okay that's a large mail when i was checking the domain addresses first in this tool you can see uh, this instance we have a site facebook.com but it is in two parts now if you go down you can see the same thing as repeated here youtube.com and instagram.com all social sites so what is the reason for this uh, so let me take this part and see why it has happened over here so when i search this text you can see uh, I have a link over here, but there's an equal sign in front of it. So if you look at the HTML, it's there's equal sign, which is not necessary. Some might think it's base64, but in this case, uh, some emails use a technique called coded printable. In this technique, actually, every text line is broken into 76 characters with the equal. So this is a problem when you are decoding or extracting information from this even if you try to create the html version of this email you get the same problem so luckily we have cyberchef which has from coded printable i'm going to use that coded printable and now you can see if i type facebook over in this section okay uh, let me check if they have facebook yep you can see it has removed the equal sign and now we have the full HTML code generated. After this, we can use extract domains. See, now we have a clean result. 
yep we have facebook.com twitter and youtube and some other domain names it has connected to so this is a great way to extract the domain names okay and if you want the unique you can say unique you can use unique over here so this is how you can extract the domain names from the email address okay if you want to extract the urls from this site very easy remove this part i can just I'll drag this out and extract the urls so i hope this uh, tool is interesting and if you find any more recipes or any more info important things that you can do with this uh, please put it on the comment section and if you have any problems i'll be happy to answer you please post it on the comment section also and if you like this video please click on the like button and if you want to see more videos like this please click on subscribe